hello guys it's been really really exciting for me to be here once again on this uh, wonderful channel it's actually been a long time I produced um, a video I've actually been away for some time and I've been busy with work so right now I got I have some very interesting codes that we need to talk about and write about we are currently experiencing an explosion in cryptocurrency and a lot of people who don't know much about cryptocurrency are beginning to pick interest in, in cryptocurrency <coughs> and cryptocurrency happens to be um, a very revolutionary technology that has been put out there by a lot of people walking across the globe trying to produce one of the best technology of the 21st century so um, and with uh, the proliferation of cryptocurrency we now have a lot of exchanges that are offering different kinds of services to their customers especially we have um, exchanges that offer services for buying and selling cryptocurrency and also we have uh, um, exchanges that offer customers the opportunity to actually trade on the exchange and the thing is not every one of us have the time to go online and trade because really the prices of um, these assets they, they fluctuate they change a lot and we cannot keep a tab on how far along they will change and the whole concept of trading in cryptocurrency is actually knowing the right time to buy and knowing the right time to exit and the whole idea is for us to maximize profit and minimize um, our loss now I don't have the entire time to sit on my computer and watch the market. I don't have that time because I got other things that I need to do. But how about building a bot that will actually do the trading for us? Does that sound interesting? I think it does. So I came up with this idea and having been a Binance um, uh, um, observer for some time I was thinking how about creating a bot that will actually do a trading for us on Binance for example and while I'm away the bot could go on and on and do trading for me by trading I mean buying and selling and for that to happen we need to be able to have um, different components on the service for example, we need to have components that decides when to buy or when to sell. And also, we also need to have a component that keeps track of um, price change in the market. Um, for us to begin this series, I'm just going to give an overview. This is an introduction to what will follow in subsequent series. I intend to make this particular tutorial into series. so. There's going to be a lot of series and I will try as much as possible to be a bit detailed in them and I will explain um, the decision behind every series or every line of every implementation that we have. So today I'm just going to do an overview of what a trading uh, looks like from the point of view of, um, of code. Now we need to be able to have our code monitor the market and make some decisions about buying and selling and such kind of decision you cannot just make them by observing price change that's not how it works in stock exchanges or in stock markets there is something called EMA EMA stands for exponential moving average and there's also something called SMA SMA stands for simple moving average now you need to be able to combine these these two um, concepts for you to be able to come up with an idea with um, a decision whether to buy or to sell 
Now, if you observe on Binance, you will notice that when you check a particular asset at the bottom, you will see EMA, SMA, and the rest of them. Those are actually market signals. They tell you what is happening in the market. They tell you when there is a, a price swing, when, when a price is swinging upward or when a price is swinging um, downward. Now, we need to be able to track those. If we are going to get our trading bots um, to maximize our profit and minimize our losses, I'm not saying that we cannot have failures in our trading bots. We can, uh, it's possible for our trading bots to make the, the wrong decision and place a, a, a buy for us when it should not. That's very possible. We are trying to minimize that. And for us to do that, we should be able to keep track of um, the EMA and SMA changes and be able to decide on that if we are if we should would if we should place a buy or a sell on our on an exchange. So come along with me as um, we go through um, as we flesh out this particular trading bot service the idea is for us to have a trading service that can accept multiple accounts but for now we are limiting it to just binance and um, on binance it's possible for you to have multiple assets that you need to trade in we want to build a service that can handle multiple assets at the same time all you need to have is for you to have some usdt on your account and the system will automatically um, place orders based on the quantity of USDT you have in your account. So the first thing that needs to happen is for us to get your Binance details. So for that to happen, you need to provide uh, your Binance API key and API secrets. That's what the service utilizes to make decisions. It utilizes those keys to pull records from Binance and then it utilizes those keys to also query the market to get details about what's happening in the market and based on what is happening in the market it can decide to place a buy order for us or a sell order for us and also monitor those orders for example we want to be able to place a buy order at a particular limit price and monitor that that buy order if it doesn't execute at some point in the future we should have the capacity to cancel that buy order knowing pretty well that that market didn't just happen that trade break uh i beg your pardon didn't just happen so that's what this whole um programming tutorial is going to be about um <coughs> i hope um this simple introduction has laid the foundation of what we are trying to do in the next series we are going to start off with the basics of um, writing um, a trading board. What I mean by the basics is we are going to have a background service that will run, that will continuously run and do what it's expected to do. So come along with me as we go through this journey of writing a trading, a bot, a trading service. Thank you. See you in the next series.